So page 76 and 77, these two pages, they just tell you a little bit of information about organizing a paragraph. Um, page 76 in the blue box, a paragraph usually has seven to 13 sentences. Uh, and then we usually have a topic sentence, supporting sentences and a concluding sentence. Now, these are going to be a little bit different depending if it's the introduction or the body or the conclusion. But generally speaking, every paragraph needs to have a topic sentence. So we're going to just quickly talk about topic sentences. Page 77, the topic sentence, TS. Let's just read a few of these uh, points. So number one, the topic sentence is the most important sentence in a paragraph. Number two, it's usually the first sentence. Number three, is used when presenting the main idea. Uh, number four, an effective topic sentence has the topic, and it also has what we call a controlling idea. And we'll have a look at some examples of those in a moment. Point number five, you need one topic in one paragraph. And number six, the controlling idea is helping the reader understand the limit, guide and control of what you are discussing. OK, have a look there. It says some examples of the topic sentences. I'm going to put this on the next slide, make it bigger. OK, so this is from page 77. Right, so we've got two different fields. And then we've got some topic sentences, including the controlling idea. So the first one is bio and health science. Bio and health science. Uh, and let's read it. Gene editing technology has led in a new era in biotechnology because it has initiated detailed changes to a live organism's DNA and has the potential to decrease disease by altering genes. Now, if this is your field, then this is an example of uh, a good topic sentence. If it's not your field, then, well, obviously you don't have to use this, but um, let's have a look at the second one. IT and engineering battery module packs, which consist of high density lithium ion cells, are attracting huge attention in the IT industry since these packs are used in various fields such as grid scale energy storage devices, commercial applications. Okay, now the next page on page 78, um, you could answer this one. Uh, it says, in your opinion, what are the two most important technologies that have changed human history or influenced our lives? And why? Uh, now think about your field, think about your major and think about some important technologies in your field and how they have changed uh, human life, how they have improved or influenced our lives. Um, so the field is going to be your major. And then you can think about topic sentences, which basically you're just introducing the topic and then you're giving a little bit more info in the controlling idea with how, why, what, uh, or some reasons. Okay, so you can come back to this page later, 78, after we have continued looking at the, uh, the, the rules and the information about topic sentences. So page 79 now, it's gonna give us some kind of tips about how to organize a good topic sentence. So let's just go through each of these, uh, page 79, and it continues on page 80 and 81. Don't forget to write a clear controlling idea. So the example sentence here, the gene editing technology is very helpful for humans. Is it good TS? No, it's not a good TS because the controlling idea is not there and it's too general. The gene editing technology is very helpful for humans. Well, how? This, this sentence is too general. Uh, number two, it should not be too general or vague. 
the gene editing technology has developed human history. Again, how? It doesn't really tell us any specific information. So too vague, no controlling idea. Three, should not be too specific while stating particular examples and details. The gene editing technology research has been continuing since 1980. Right, so that's too specific. You don't have to put a specific date in the topic sentence. Uh, you can do that later in the supporting sentences. Four, it should include one appropriately specific controlling idea that helps the audience or reader to limit, guide, and control on their own as you guide your main point. Okay, so example, the gene editing technology has led to a new era in biotechnology since it caused changes in life expectancy by altering the genes. Is it a good TS? Yeah. Clear controlling idea, appropriately specific. So you can use number four as a reference for a good topic sentence. It introduces the topic and it gives us a little bit more information which they call a controlling idea. Right, the next two pages, 80 and 81, is basically just some more examples of topic sentences. The green ones are not complete, not good. The red ones are examples of better topic sentences. Uh, so the first one, augmented reality means digital graphics, too general, no controlling idea. Number two, augmented reality, AR, conveys real-time information to live footage technology. Better, but still too general. And the third one, uh, augmented reality is activated by open source video tracking software too specific. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to kind of combine these. And in number four, we have a good topic sentence. Uh, number five, this is now a different major and a different uh, su subject. But this is also a good one. So number four, augmented reality refers to digital graphics, which convey real-time information to live footage technology and is activated by open source video tracking software. And five, in the highly connected global world of YouTube and SNS, the K-pop explosion has broken down cultural barriers as well as played a remarkable role in the country's growing economy. Uh, we're going to see these in paragraphs a little bit later, these sentences. Right, page 81, it's the same. You've got three not good examples, and then two at the bottom are better. So number six, too specific. You've got that date, 2013. You don't want a date in the topic sentence, in the first sentence. Uh, number seven, too general. And number eight, too specific. You got the date again. Let's have a look at two better ones. Number nine, human gene editing technology has raised ethical questions in regard to using it for reproductive purposes. Good, clear, controlling idea. Uh, number 10, gene editing technology has led to a new era in biotechnology since it has changed life expectancy by altering human genes. Okay, it's not too specific. It's giving us a controlling idea. It's a good topic sentence. All right, so like I always tell you, you can use these pages as a reference, as a guide. If you're trying to write the first sentence, the topic sentence, refer to these pages to have Give you some uh, give you some guidance and help. Okay, now the next pages we've got some paragraphs um, and also we've got vocabulary. So I think this is a uh, this is a time when you can really get your pen and you can pause the video and you can try to fill in the blanks like we've done previously in the class. So look at page eighty two. 
this is an IT and engineering uh, topic. And this is about the augmented reality, AR. Uh, so let's just look at the vocabulary. Look at the words in the blue, blue, the blue box. Convey, to transmit or communicate. Footage, film, video sequences. Contemporary, present time, modern. Application, a formal request or a software program. Adaptive, able to adjust situations. Manufacturing, large scale goods production. Uh, surgeon, a medical specialist in surgery. Precision, accuracy and exactness. Consumer device, electronics for personal use. Uh, right, so like I told you in the previous class, if you don't know the words, you should, first of all, translate them uh, into Korean. And then when you're ready, you can start filling in the blanks in the sentences. And I'm going to show you the answers in the next slide. OK, so when you're ready, continue with the video and check the answers. Right, here we go. So here are the sentences. Number one, the contemporary algorithms used in the new software make it superior to older versions. Two, the software team reviewed the video footage of their product demo to confirm all features were presented correctly. Number three, in networking protocols are used to convey data between devices efficiently. Number four, the application for the graphic design tool has become more popular among designers and artists. Number five, a medical surgeon often uses robotic tools which demand programming and precise control. Number six, in engineering, precision in measurements is vital. Even a slight variation can lead to a product malfunction. Number seven, the adaptive nature of modern AI algorithms allows them to improve their performance based on real-time feedback. Number eight, the manufacturing of computer chips requires a clean environment to ensure no defects. And number nine, smartphones, the most commonly used consumer device, are constantly updated to include the latest technological advancements. Okay, so what you have next on page 83 and 84 are some example paragraphs showing you the topic sentence in pink. And then we've got supporting sentences in green and concluding sentences in blue. I'm not going to read all of these, but if you want to check the vocabulary in paragraphs, and if you are interested in these topics, if they are related to your major, for example, then you should read them and check how the words are being used. OK, so we're just going to skip through now to page 86 and we're basically going to follow this same process which is checking the vocabulary writing it in sentences and then you can see how it's used in the paragraphs so now page 86 this is it and engineering okay so have a look at the vocabulary, try to fill in the answers yourself, and then you can check them when you're ready uh, using this PPT video. Okay, so this one is about battery technology. Page 86. The new software boasts advanced encryption techniques. 
uh, and we're looking at paraphrased sentences. So number two, the new software is proud of its modern encryption features. OK, so you can see we're using synonyms there. Boasts uh, has been replaced with proud. OK, B, regular maintenance of the server ensures smooth operations. So which paraphrase sentence is this? And this one is number three. Ensuring the server gets regular checks helps it run without having minor problems. Regular checks is the synonym for maintenance. Okay, C, the results of the experiment were consistent with the engineer's initial predictions. So we're looking for a paraphrase sentence with a synonym for the word consistent. And this one is number five. The outcome of the test reliably matched what the engineer had originally thought. So consistent. That will be similar to reliably matched. Uh, D, after the introduction of 5G, the demand for high-speed internet skyrocketed. Okay, so we're trying to find a paraphrase sentence that has a synonym for skyrocketed. And this one is number four. The demand for faster internet rose quickly with the arrival of 5G. Rose quickly is the synonym for skyrocketed. E, the project's cost was estimated to be around $1 million. Estimated, let's find a synonym for that one. And this will be in number one. The project's cost was predicted to be approximately $1 million. Predicted, estimated, predicted. And F, with the growing concern about the environment, many tech companies are focusing on the eco-friendliness of their products. And now we've got number six, Consideration for the environment is now a priority for numerous technology firms. Okay, so this is basically just reviewing paraphrased sentences using synonyms. Page 87, vocabulary checkup questions for the topic battery technology. Before reading, circle the correct definitions for the words in bold. So now we're just trying to find the correct definitions. Number one, the new software boasts advanced encryption techniques to keep user data secure. Boasts, okay, the correct answer is B, features or possesses. Uh, regular maintenance. So we need to find the definition of the word maintenance. Correct answer is C, upkeep or routine care. Number three, we need to find the definition of the word consistent. The answer is in agreement with C. Okay, so number four, five and six, have a go at doing it yourself in the book. And then when you're ready, continue with the video to check the answers. Okay, let's find the, def the definition of skyrocketed. C, increased dramatically. Number five, estimated. A, guessed roughly. And number six, eco-friendliness. The correct answer is C, environmentally friendly uh, nature. Okay, and then on the next page, 88, you're going to see those words used in three paragraphs. And this one is about car business battery package charge. Okay, so yeah, you have a go at reading it. We've got pink, the topic sentence, green are the supporting sentences, and the blue is the concluding sentence. 
And on page 89, this one also includes uh, a table with different chemicals and voltages and applications. Okay, so I'm not going to read them because it's just going to be too much of me reading. But if you're interested in this topic, please go ahead and read it yourself. And I, in the video, will just keep going through to the next, uh, the next set of vocabulary words. And this time it's also a different major. So page 91. Now the, the major is humanities and social science. Okay, pre-reading activity, vocabulary checkup questions, K-pop and world influence. Okay, before reading, circle the correct definition of the words in bold. Okay, everybody, so page 91 and 92, have a go at finding the correct definitions. And when you're ready, continue with this video to check the answers. And here we go. So page 91, uh, number one, the population explosion in urban areas led to significant challenges in city planning. Explosion A, a rapid and sudden increase. Number two, socioeconomic barriers often limit access to quality education for many communities, barriers, obstacles, or hindrances. Number three, different genres of literature offer insights into various cultural and historical contexts. Genres. B, categories or kinds. Number four, the dancers moved synchronized to the rhythm reflecting the community's deep-rooted traditions. Synchronized is A, in coordinated or matched timing. The choreography of traditional dances often tells stories of a community's past. Choreography is uh, A, the sequence and design of movements in dance. Number six, the campaign used a catchy slogan to raise awareness about social issues. Catchy, easily remembered or appealing, B. Next page in your book. Uh, and number seven, the politician spoke sophisticatedly about the nuances of international relations. Sophisticatedly, B, in a complex or refined manner. Uh, number eight, Nelson Mandela remains an inspiration for many who advocate for civil rights and freedom inspiration that is going to be a a source of motivation or admiration number nine with the burgeoning interest in social sciences universities are expanding their courses burgeoning a rapidly growing or developing number 10 the 1960s saw a fad of peace and love movements across western countries b a trend popular for a short period, a fad. Uh, 11, the speech had a deep resonance among the audience, touching on shared experiences and emotions. Resonance, A, strong emotional or meaningful connection. And number 12, the aesthetics of ancient civilizations can be studied through their art and architecture. B, principles and appreciation of beauty and taste. Okay, page 93, we've got the reading with the topic sentences and the supporting sentences. Uh, maybe I'll read some of this on page 93, just because it's slightly more interesting. So K-pop and its influence on the world, culture and business report change. So the topic sentence, in the global world of being connected through YouTube and SNS, the K-pop explosion uh, breaks cultural barriers. 
More than anything else, various genres challenged by K-pop artists include a wide range of musical performances, colorful costumes, and perfectly synchronized choreography. Besides hip hop, pop, rock, electro pop, and R&B, the musical effects also include catchy tunes, music videos with eye-catching visual effects, and sophisticatedly elaborate storylines. The K-pop industry has made every effort to export their music by getting some attention and inspiration from the Western world while demonstrating English cover songs in order to keep up with contemporary trends that help Western people break their cultural bias and barriers. Many K-pop fans have become interested in learning the Korean language, which was once regarded as a barrier to entering Korean culture. All right, if you're interested in this, you can continue reading yourself, but I'm just gonna go through it. So, I'm not bothering with pages 95, checking the uh, topic sentences. It, to be honest, it gets a bit repetitive. So all I'm interested in is looking at the vocabulary and the different majors. So the next one on page 96, uh, bio and healthcare. So let's do the pre-reading activity with the vocab. Okay. So just stop the video, check the vocabulary. And the next slide will give you the answers. Okay, and I'm gonna try and do it a bit quicker. So integration, the answer for that, if you find it in the, uh, the definition, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So integration is going to be Bringing separate elements in, oh wait, sorry, that's, yeah, bringing separate elements into a unified whole. And that is D. Number two, paradigm shift. And the meaning of that one is A, a fundamental change in approach or underlying assumptions. Number three, obsolete. That is outdated or no longer in use, which is C. Uh, number four, transformative. That is creating a marked change, E. And number five, a company to be with or occur at the same time as something, I. Uh, number six, the programmer had a slew of bugs, a slew of bugs, slew, a large number of something, F. Number seven, some people have a predisposition to understanding complex algorithms quickly. Predisposition is the physical constitution of an individual, G. Number eight, fleeting lasting for a very short time, H. Okay, number nine, tangible, able to be clearly seen, touched or felt, real, that's B, and makeup, being put together or the composition J. Okay, and then this example, Paragraph, uh, or sorry, paragraphs, bio and healthcare science. So if you are interested in this uh, topic, please read the paragraphs on 97 and 98. Forward genetics, reverse genetics. We're not going to read all of these because there are too many. If you go to units uh, seven, eight, and nine, you're gonna see there are many, many, many uh, reading examples. 
We will study some of them later and we will read some of them, but we're not going to read all of them. But what you should do is just kind of have a look through them, scan through them and see if there are any topics which are interesting for you. Okay, right, we got two more sets of vocabulary. So page 100 and 101, business and marketing, pre-reading. So this is about ESG, environmental, social and governance, ESG. Have a look at the vocabulary, try to fill in the missing blanks and then check the answers. So number one, to be chosen as our main supplier, companies must meet certain criteria, standards for making judgments. Okay, number two, in today's business landscape, sustainability is often seen as a key factor. Number three, many organizations are working to reduce their ecological footprint. Number four, due to growing environmental concerns, our company has set a goal to reduce carbon emissions. Number five, the introduction of digital marketing was a pivotal moment. It's crucial for a company to engage with its stakeholders. Number seven, maintaining a positive reputation online is essential. Number eight, it's crucial for companies to honor their commitments. Number nine, despite facing numerous challenges last year, our team proved to be resilient. And number 10, as market trends continuously change, the most successful companies are those that are adaptable. Okay, so business and marketing, environmental, social and governance, the paragraphs are on 101 and 102. If you are interested in the business and marketing field, then continue to read. Uh, okay, and then let's just wrap this up. So page 104, 105, 106. Your book is just basically giving you some grammar and some vocabulary to help you re uh, writing topic sentences. You do not have to use these uh, phrases or this grammar, but it's just giving you some ideas for words and phrases.